All right, so checking sets today here. It's a windy, kind of cold day with spit and snow, but uh, that guy there makes it all better. So anyway, another nice coyote here. Uh, so I made multiple catches in this particular location. This, that's why I set it, obviously, you know, just a dynamite location here um, on the change between a, uh, a field and some timber there kind of out here in this open country and uh, you know those those canines are going to follow the lines and this one did same as the others that i've caught here in this location this was a remake of a hay set nice looking coyote there and uh you know nice deep pad catch in that in that duke 650 but anyway gonna get this guy taken care of real quick all right Ooh, had to get out of that wind but that wind was uh that wind was whipping across through there so anyway, uh, I got Kyle taken care of. Now, I wanted to take a minute here and speak on a couple of things. Um, you know, so way back when, whenever I started this channel, uh, my primary focus was to educate the, the trapping audience, you know, educate them about good methods, uh, fur handling, you know, my focus was towards the trapping audience. And, you know, over the years as the audience have grown and I've seen the impact, uh, you know, I have... I have kind of changed my tune a little bit to where I am now trying to focus more on educating the the non-trapping community. And I say that, you know, educating because, you know, and I, I call these people, you know, uneducated, and I don't mean that so much in a derogatory way, you know. I, I, I'm not an astronaut, so I am technically uneducated in space travel, right? You know, no different than, than somebody who's never put a set in the ground is, is an uneducated person in this matter, you know. So anyway, I wanted to speak on this a little bit because this was the fourth coyote that I've caught out in that location. Right out of that set, I've caught four coyotes there. Now, that's pretty dang good, especially in my area. That's a pretty dynamite location, you know, whenever you can pull four coyotes out of one set, um, that's pretty good. That's why I set it, right? You know, I'm not going to set uh, mediocre places. I'm going to set good locations. Now, you know, one thing that just comes with canine trapping is the fact that you kind of put yourself out in the open a little bit more. You know, uh, like whenever I coon trap, you know, normally I'm kind of out, oh, down away, uh, try to, you know, kind of a little bit more low key, you know, and I try not to, uh, to draw any more attention than necessary to myself anyway, whenever I trap, you know, I try to keep my, my truck clean and, you know, just try not to draw attention. There's just no need for it. But with canine trapping, you know, it's just the fact of the matter is that's where those critters are. They're in the, the field changes, the open draws, you know, so you're just going to put yourself out in the open a little bit more. And that's kind of where this set was, you know, right on an edge. Uh, you know, I wasn't going to catch that coyote being into the timber 30 feet. It's just, just not, you're not going to catch them there. Um, so anyway, like I said, I had this, had this set four, four coyotes I've caught out of that set, just a, just a dynamite location. So the reason I want to speak on this is, you know, Whenever I, I go in and trap and, you know, I put different priorities to different things. And my top priority is definitely taking care of my landowners, right? Uh, you know, without my landowners, I don't get to do what I do, right? So, so taking care of my landowners, uh, you know, and, and making them happy and, and different things like that, that, that trumps everything, right? Because without them, I don't get to do this, right? So anyway, um, had this coyote, now uh, let's just call him concerned citizen number one. So, you know, like I said, being we're canine trapping, you're kind of putting yourself out in the open. Uh, concerned citizen number one sees this coyote in a set and he gets all up in arms, all balled up. Now, more than likely, concerned citizen, this is, this is the, probably the first coyote this guy has ever seen ever, you know, more than likely. Uh, but gets all, all balled up, all worried, which quite honestly is nothing more than a nosy neighbor. Um, gets all balled up and, and gets, gets the landowner involved and its landowner in turn gets me involved, you know, and, and stuff like this just turns into a whole kind of a quagmire deal, you know, just unneeded attention more or less. Um, now, you know, all these sets are, are made completely legal by the book, everything else. Um, but you know, you start getting people involved. And like I said, I put the, the landowner at my top priority. Um, you know, and 
So basically what I ended up having to do is, you know, just to kind of, you know, put out the fire, so to speak, I pulled the set. There's a the set, you can see it. <laughs> Trap, it looks brand new, it's shiny because it's, it's caught four coyotes in it, um, you know. But yeah, I pulled the set, you know, because this uneducated um, individual, you know, felt like he needed to get involved. Now, had this, had this individual been educated on trapping and the regulations, he would have known that that, that coyote that he saw was, was taken by legal methods, uh, by legal way. And he also would have known that, you know, here in Illinois, at some point during that day, because of our check laws, somebody would have be there to, to, um, to check that set, take care of the critter and, and things like that. But concerned citizen all up in arms and got everybody involved and you know it just kind of sucks it sucks for everybody it sucks for me because I end up having to pull a set that was a great location now I know a lot of you are going to be like oh it was, it was a legal set and good thing you know you shouldn't have pulled it I know a lot of you guys are going to say that but you have to remember you know I, I like I said I put my landowners at the very top of the pyramid and keeping them happy preserving that relationship is worth you know way more than than a couple of coyotes yes it sucks for me I, I i realize that but you know if i can keep that landowner happy um and preserve that relationship then you know i i see that as a win but you know like i said more and more i try to focus my content on educating the the non-trapping community because you know like i said if this guy would have known the laws and regulations I'd be able to have that set back in the ground and, and potentially be able to catch, you know, more coyotes. So anyway, thought I'd share that with you. You know, I think I think we as a trapping community so much are focused on on staying away from the, the anti-trapping side of, you know, we kind of lose the fact that, you know, if we're able to educate them properly about these kind of things, it can only benefit us all in the long run, you know. Uh, and I think that I think that is an important thing to to remember. And like I said, it's something I've actually been trying to focus on more and more over the past few years because, you know, like I said, uh, it, it whatever more people are educated about, you know, about something, it, it can only benefit us all. So, so anyway, I thought I'd just stop um, and and make this short little video. Like I said, this is something that I actually deal with more often than not. Uh, and you know, it sucks you gotta deal with it. And you know, some will say, oh yeah, you kinda got the, the butt end of the deal. Um, but you know, I still kinda look at it as a positive. You know, the positive that came out of this was the fact that um, I was able to preserve that, that good relationship with the landowner. And I was also able to, to educate, you know, concerned citizen, uh, you know, a little bit more about regulations and, you know, good trapping practices and, and different things like that. So, you know, all in all, I consider it a win. Um, yes, it sucks that I had to pull the set, you know, and, and, you know, potentially lose out on more critters, but, you know, you got to take the good with the bad and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, keep your head up high and, and kind of look at it as a glass half full kind of deal. So anyway, y'all, uh, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys have had instances like this. Uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys have, because like I said, this happens more often than not. And I think if we all take a little bit more time and, and try to educate the uneducated, so to speak, I think it'll all be, all be good for us all in the long run. So with that being said, I'm going to get back to checking my line, y'all. Um, as always, y'all, appreciate the view. See you on the next one.